Hey you guys. I'm so excited to share this information with you that I got from Spirit as part of my meditation um, today. And it just keeps popping in my head and popping in my head. So I actually, um, I wanted to go live here. Oh my gosh, I want to share it in my group, uh, in our group, Craving Consciousness Community. So if you're not in there, get in there because I do free trainings in the Craving Consciousness Community every Tuesday and Thursday. But I felt like this was super important to um, share on my personal profile. Awesome. So stick with me for one second. Um, copy link. I'm going to stick this in my group because it's super important. And then I'm going to, I even made you guys little, I even made you guys little, uh, little pictures. Hey, Beck. Hey, Megan. Hey, Jessica. Say hi when you guys are here. Okay. I felt like this was, I felt like this was going to be super important. Um, so we'll see if my intuition spirit's like, we need, we need you to tell these people this. <laughs> You know how you always think everybody else thinks like you do, or you always think that um, that people know what you know, and they don't. And so, first of all, that's a super important message too to teach what you teach what you learn, teach what you know, because it's spreading information, it's spreading consciousness. So, um, you guys, most of you know, I'm Brandeleen Johnson, right? I'm a psychic medium, a spiritual life and business coach, and educator, and I help people awaken to their spiritual gifts and align to the frequency of their dream life and business. And when I say that, a lot of people are like, woo, that sounds so woo-woo, but I want to explain it to you in a kind of a scientific um, way so that you can start understanding what's happening to us as a, as a species and what ha what's happening to you as you're attracting things and what's happening to you when you're going out into the public space um, or even in nature. Um, so many people don't realize that this is an energetic thing they're experience, experiencing or a spiritual thing that they're experiencing. They just, they're so stuck in their human existence that they um, feel these feelings and then start associating them with something else that Big Pharma told them about or something. But so I even made you little stick figures. <laughs> I'm so I'm cracking myself up. So um, it's funny because... When I was in the middle of my commercial real estate um, career as a marketing specialist, I thought to myself, I really want to go back to school and I want to learn about physics. I want to learn about quantum physics. And and um, one of the brokers there kind of talked me out of it because he was like, well, you have to go back for all these years. And so I, I don't know, I stepped back away from it. But it's so funny because later on in life, I became this psychic medium, right? And I started studying um, our subconscious mind. And I um, started speaking with dead people and speaking with angels and spirit and getting downloads of information from spirit. And so I've learned so much about the law of attraction too, because all of this goes hand in hand. Spirit, spirit, and the law of attraction are besties, <laughs> right? Spirit and the law of attraction are besties because they they stand for the same thing. It is law. It is it is the law. Um. So, my point being is, I came around and started to understand quantum physics from learning from learning the other way from understanding, um how I'm receiving information from a dead person or understanding the law of attraction and how, how we manifest and like energetically. Okay. So here we go. Got a lot of people on here. So here we are. You're in your meat suit right now here. You're in your meat suit, but I want you to understand that you are not a solid. Nothing is a solid. Um, everything is energy. Everything's vibrating at a certain vibrational level. And that's why we, uh, this appears this way because it's vibrating at a certain frequency. So same thing like with this crystal, it's vibrating at a certain frequency. And so are you, you're vibrating at a certain frequency. And what does that mean? If you're vibrating, it means that you're moving, you're constantly moving, right? So here I drew you a little picture. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't laugh at my thing. Um, and I really feel this is important to share too. So if you guys are resonating with this, please share this video. The other reason why I want to share this with you guys is part of your spiritual awakening. So, so many people are starting to go through this spiritual awakening. So here is this picture that I drew. <laughs> and it's a picture of you. And there, see all these little dots all around your little stick body? This is what you're emitting. This is the frequency that you're emitting. And I'm clairvoyant. So I always say, 
you look like who you are. Okay, so people will come to me. I know if they're rich. I know if they're not rich. I know um, if they're a healer. I know if they're this. It's because you look like who you are, right? So as you change, as you shift your frequency, so does your body. And so does everything outside of you, right? So every time you have a thought, it starts sending out little fragments of energy because everything's frequency. A thought is frequency. A thought is energy. If you can wrap your head around the fact that every freaking thing is energy vibrating at a certain level and that we actually match the frequency of everything that you see outside of you is matching the frequency, the, the, the trending. I like to call it trending, like you know how Twitter says trending. So whatever you see outside of yourself is what's trending in your frequency. You see here? So here's everything. And it comes from all of your body, right? It comes from all your chakra system and it goes out. So you're constantly floating outside of yourself. Does that make sense? I feel like this is a really important thing. You are constantly floating outside of yourself. Pieces of you are going out into the universe to attract the same and bring it back to you. This is what we call synchronicity, right? So if you say to yourself, I want to learn more about this and then you jump on my live and you find out that my waiting list is open for the awaken class and that we open enrollment on 8 8 18 and the people on the waiting list get a discount so if you ask yourself how do i know learn more about this you're going to want to sign up for the waiting list and learn more about your abilities as a human to communicate with all of these invisible things so when you think of something it'll go out and eventually it comes back to yourself right now I'm going to explain it a little bit deeper. This is you floating out. See, going out to get something. You know, maybe it float, goes out and then you open your Facebook and there's a class for something that you want to take. Or there's a book somebody's reading about that, right? Isn't it interesting? So now here's my other picture. <laughs> you guys are going to crack me up, right? You're going to laugh. Here's my other picture <laughs> that I drew for you because I really felt like it was important for you guys to see how everything emits frequency. So here I drew the tree, right? You guys know I love my tree, Cheryl. Everything that you, your energy field gets near, you're starting to assimilate the other energies around you. Okay? You're starting to feel the energies of everything that's around you because why? Because your frequency is lifting and lifting and all of our frequencies are lifting and lifting. So you're starting to become more aware, whether you call it awareness, you probably call it anxiety. You probably call it depression. Uh, but you're starting to become more aware of the energies that are around you. And if you keep thinking like a human, you run off to the doctor to solve that problem, right? But if you start thinking like energetically, and you start thinking like a spiritual being that's three frequencies going out there, then you start to realize when you get near the tree, you are your energy field and the tree's energy field are commingling. And what happens with that? It causes a feeling inside of you. If you are part of the slumbering masses, then you likely don't slow down enough to realize that there has been a shift in your energy field, that you're feeling something. You go so quickly through life that you don't realize that you're feeling something, but as the psychic medium and as somebody that teaches intuition and mediumship development, intuition is awareness. So when you, when you get around that tree, you might actually feel good. Unconsciously, you start wanting to spend more time outside. And the more you hang around the tree, it gets pretty crazy. Then they'll start talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because it's frequency and all of this frequency that the tree is emitting isn't just a feeling it's information people it's information think of the crickets and that they're they're singing they're singing the song of the world they're all singing the same song have you ever noticed that they're emitting a frequency and it's information it's absolutely information so now let's talk about a little ghost right and here's my walmart picture so so you go to walmart Let's talk about Walmart. So you go to Walmart, you know, first of all, here's you, right? You're emitting all your little frequencies. And then you get inside Walmart and here's all these other people and they're all emitting their frequencies too. You get inside Walmart and you're like, what the fuck? I'm freaking out. Get me out of here. I'm going through. I, then all of a sudden you labor yourself with, I have social anxiety. No, 
You don't have social anxiety. You're starting to become aware of the frequencies around you. Maybe this person is sad and depressed. You know, maybe this person just fell in love. And here you are, this electronic being coming through. And these other people are meh. And then you wonder why you leave Walmart and you're a hot freaking mess. It's because you became aware of the energies, but you, you're not thinking that way. You're thinking, oh my God, I have social anxiety. Get me out. I need a Xanax or a glass of wine, right? Um, and the medical community has made that normalcy, right? But when you, when you actually develop into your, your awareness, which is intuition and mediumship development, then you can realize that, hey, oh my gosh, this person's sad. You know, I'm going to touch them. I'm going to give them some healing energy. I'm going to pray for them. That person fell in love. I want to be in her energy. It feels so pink and so light, right? And hell no, I don't want to be by that person. I think he might have murdered somebody last night, right? <laughs> like you could pick up on that stuff. It's so, then you could start thinking about yourself as a more energetic thing. Now, if you could pick, if you could feel energy coming from a tree or being in nature, like your favorite spot at the beach, and you're feeling this feeling, and you're feeling how, you know, anxious you get going in the Walmart example, but you're feeling how good you feel when you're around a tree, then absolutely you can feel invisible people. <laughs> I know, it's so silly. This is so important, though. Spirit, spirit told me this is so important for you guys to kind of put your head around. So then you start feeling invisible people and you really think you're losing your mind because you start feeling emotions going up or going down or you start feeling like you're, you know, songs popping or in your head or you're feeling like somebody's talking to you and nobody's there. Um, this is because invisible people are still energy. Right? They're not inside their meat suit anymore. They're just pure energy. And so that's why you could feel these energies more and more and more now. Right? And then here I also put money. Right? Like let's talk about money. So, you know, money's just sitting here over here all innocent. Right? It's just sitting there all innocent. But um, so but when you think about money, you know, what what color or what frequency comes outside of you when you think about it? And that's your relationship, you know, with money or, or what is the frequency that comes out with what you would do with the money, right? Or if not having enough money, you know, you start, it changes this frequency and it actually goes out. So hopefully this is making sense for you guys. You guys are energetic beings that are becoming more and more and more sensitive. You're all going through awakening. Everybody's experiencing it a little bit differently. Spirit told me this is so important for you guys to understand it energetically. You know, quantum physics, quantum physics, you know, they always say, well, quantum physics is what whatever you think about actually goes out and puts energy to that. It moves energy. It literally moves. Um, <clears throat> another thing with like quantum physics is like sound, sound frequency. They show like drumming and then the sand will move into different uh, images. That's like fascinating to me. So if a drum and some sand starts making star figures, then it only goes out to say that the voice coming outside of me is a frequency and it's going out and it's creating things like stars or whatever. But also your thoughts and your emotions all goes hand in hand. You're like this moving energetic mechanism. So it only makes sense that if you're like this, everybody else is like this, and then you get around them. Here's the neat thing. Here's the really neat thing is when you develop your intuition and mediumship and like I told you guys the um the waiting list is open for the there's a lit waiting list because enrollment's going to open. But when you develop into this you're able to wrap your head around it. You're able to receive information from that invisible being just like I did through my meditation. You're able to help other people and you're able to live your life more fully because you stop operating as a slumbering human and start operating as understanding and operating as if you're this energetic being, which you are, right? So, I mean, it took me 30 some years to even before I started going through my spiritual awakening. And it's funny because we call it spiritual awakening, but it's really coming into an awareness of who you are and the ability that you have with your energy. 
I see Megan Nicole giving me some love because she she and I we both love quantum physics. Um, it, it it's and it's again it's so funny because I wanted to go back to college for it and I ended up coming around the other way. Um, all roads lead to this information, right? Some of you guys are finding it through spiritual awakening. Some of you are finding it through studying like Abraham Hicks. Some of you are finding it and calling it something completely different. But, hey, Elizabeth, good morning. Yeah, girl. So, if you're just now watching this, Spirit wants you to watch this whole thing so you can wrap your head around who you are and why you have or don't have what it is that you want and why you're experiencing energy fluctuations with wherever you go and whoever you're having in your environment and even your environment right i mean let's talk about my office is kind of messy so you know what after i uh after i'm done here i'm gonna go clean it up because because everything's energy and if the energy's not flowing i mean we could go right into feng shui some of you guys maybe learned this stuff through feng shui but it all goes hand in hand everything's energy and you want to be emitting the frequency that's going to bring you your life that you want right your dream life and business so if you guys want more information <clears throat> i'm going to drop the link to the um waiting list but if you want more information about coaching one-on-one -on -one with me to help you get in alignment with your dream life and business or to help you go through your spiritual awakening reach out and let me know i can give you a free discovery call just to uh, see if it's a good fit or send you to a place i'm a i'm a good middleman right i'm the medium <laughs> i'm the medium or if you want a reading let's do one of those too um <clears throat> anyway i love you guys i feel like it's super important so please share this Feel free to join us in our group at Craving Consciousness Community and check out my website, brandoline.com. There's so many free resources on there, including a free quiz to see which part of your gifts are awakening already. There's a free library with tons of free um, like guided meditations. Um, that's on my website, brandoline.com. And there's a blog post and my Craving Consciousness podcast is on iTunes now or on my website. There's different ways you can follow that. I am always here to give you guys tons and tons of free information to help you create the life you really want and to help you get into alignment with the frequency of your dream life and business. So this is my job. This is my soul's mission. And if I can help you, let me know. All right. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day.